likes it to Comic Con. I'm not good, I'm not bad, but I sure as hell ain't ugly. I don't have time to do this interview, okay? Gosh. Hi, I'm Santana Cosplay, and I'm here with... Uh, Brittany Daniel. And how are you enjoying yourself at Lexington Comic Con? I'm having a great time. This is the first time I've ever been to this Comic Con, and um, everybody's been super friendly, and it's been very busy. Uh, oh, 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 wow. He, <laughs> oh my god, you're my new favorite person. Alright, you recording? Did you focus this? Are we focused? Hello. And the mic's on. I had an incident once. Uh -oh. We won't go into that. I'm here with Kevin Sorbo and his awesome son. Uh, and we, um... This is Brayden. Brayden. <laughs> I'm so... The second go around because we did this interview already and she didn't turn the mic on. I'm Tara Strong. <laughs> That's all she needs to say. She is the... This is the face of many voices, correct? True. And a couple of my favorites are Fairly Odd Parents and uh, My Little Pony. You do Twilight, right? Mm-hmm. So tell us, are you working on any new projects that we can be like looking for you? Um, yes, but I can't tell you what they are. Uh, what do you think it takes to be a Power Ranger? You think I got what it takes? Oh, yeah. Well, you've got a cute outfit. We might need to change this though. Oh. Steam steampunk? Is it steampunk? It's a little steampunky. Yes, steampunkish. Yeah. You might need some spandex. Probably, yeah, I was about to say I probably need the uniform. Yes, uniform. Um, strong, which you are. Beautiful. Oh, oh ho, ho, I like her. Um, what else? I um, need something to shout when I morph. Oh, okay. Let's think of an animal for you. Sloth. Um, the last time we talked, which was not very long ago, um, I mentioned about you being in a movie and I would love for you guys to plug that again because it was awesome and um, tell us about it. It's Let There Be Light. It did very well in theaters this fall. It's out on DVD now at Walmart or on Amazon or uh, Z Z Zulu. Is that what you call it? Zulu? And uh, Hulu? Zulu. I don't know. I'm, I'm not. I'm old. Um, and there's uh, and Best Buy. It's out there. Go check it out. It's a wonderful family movie. Wonderful, huh? Okay, cool. And tell us about future projects you may be working on in the future. What did you just work on with me? Uh, we shot in Florida, Bernie the Dolphin. I didn't have much of a role, but I got to shoot for a day, which was fun. You got in the movie anyway. It's a very fun family movie about dolphins and stuff like that. Uh, last time I made a clever joke about him playing the dolphin. He didn't we'll see out. that now. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Oh, hi. <laughs> I'm a voice actor. Hey, we're doing this. Uh, I'm, I'm a voice actor. Um, I'm uh, McCree in Overwatch, uh, Jotaro Kujo in Jotaro Bizarre Adventure, Levi in Attack on Titan, uh, a whole slew of other video games, Common Fire Emblem, uh, and a bunch of other stuff. So you can look it up online. But I also am the DM for a Twitch stream, Dungeons and Dragons game every Thursday, on Geek and Sundry called Critical Role. I've heard about that. Cool. Haven't had a chance to like look at it though. It's pretty fun. It's pretty silly. I hope you. When I have to, and then I can brag to everybody. I talked to him. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. It works out well. Yeah. He came in, hit the trunk. Was going to go look. Hi, I'm Santana Cosplay, and I just love this supernatural car. Can you? Let's. How are you? So, how did you get started in all of this? How did you become a, a Pink Ranger? Well, I was acting and modeling in Australia, and um, I just auditioned for a show. I didn't know about Power Rangers. It wasn't showing in Australia yet. Um, and, uh, yeah, I, I auditioned for a part, and after a couple of callbacks, they, they called me and said that, was, that I was the new Pink Ranger. So I've loved you forever since you were in Power Rangers, and you're the original Pink Ranger. Aww, you're my thanks. favorite. Don't Thank tell the you. others. Tell everyone about you and how cool you are. Uh, I write and occasionally draw the Rick and Morty comic for Oni Press. That's very popular. Uh, I've done a lot of Eisner nominated books for Image, Rock Candy Mountain, Sex Castle. I did a book called Kill Them All. I did a book about dog fighting zombies called Dead of Winter. So much stuff. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff. I'm very busy. I can see that. We're just going to talk about Rick and Morty though, right? Um, if you want no, to. That's usually how it goes. So we can Oh my god, so tell us about Rick and Morty. <laughs> oh my gosh. They're up to shenanigans. I have a couple of things I can't talk about because it's not been revealed yet. Um, and I do some voiceover work and, you know, I pop up here and there. Nothing on camera these days other than the secret thing I can't talk about. But. <laughs> you can't even give us a little teaser. I can't give, do anything. I've signed a zip. Yeah. Zip. So stay tuned though. What if I guess? Pokemon. No. Beetlejuice. Not even like a little hint, a teaser? Um, no. Can I guess? If you like. And you can like blink twice if it's right. 
the new live action Sonic the Hedgehog movie. <laughs> wow! <laughs> sir, sir, hi, I'm Santana Cosplay. Is this your first time at this con? No. What? Have you enjoyed yourself? No. Sir, sir. So what's some new projects we can hope to see you in? Uh, right now I have a, a digital series called The Has Been that I'm writing and directing and starring in it. And um, you can check out the teaser which is on YouTube. Um, which is on my YouTube, I don't even know the name of my YouTube channel. If you go to my Instagram, which is A to the double J, there's a link to the, the, the Has Been teaser. I'd love for you to go watch it if you can. I'll make sure they do. It's about, it's about an aging actress who, has, who goes to Comic Cons. I'm here with Catherine Cavadini. And I am one of your biggest fans. You are! I sure am. I love your work so much. Can you give everyone a run through of all the different characters you've done? Or at least some of them. Some of them. Let's see. I'm Blossom of the Powerpuff Girls. <laughs> um, I did Tanya uh, Markowitz. Um, I'm a star. Dreams to dream in the dark of the night. And um, I'm. Some of my newer stuff is like Moby D in the Stinky and Dirty show. Hey Moby, hey Stinky, I gotta empty my cargo containers. <laughs> uh, Aruga. I've been working as a voice actor professionally for 14 years, uh, most of it with anime and video games. In fact, you can see a lot of one of some of my more famous characters here on the uh, on the banner back here. So you may know me as uh, Armin from Attack on Titan, or and that's my phone going off. One second. Is it yours or mine? I was that's like, mine. that's the same ringtone. How unprofessional. Have you had any like crazy con experiences, any awkward moments with fans or just anything you'd like to share that would be? Um, you know what? Everybody's been super respectful, yeah. I, I have to say. You know, I, I, Other than with me, you know. Uh, except for you. <laughs> Dang it! Sir, sir, sir. Hi. Hi. It's me again. Hi. Are, who am I going to call? Someone else. Uh, what were your upcoming cons that we can be looking for you? Um, I'm going to Dublin at the end of this month, which I'm really excited about. Uh, I'll be at Dragon Con. And I'll be there. I'll harass you there too. Good. And I'm doing one in Hawaii. Um, there's one in F Fort Lauderdale. And there's one other one I'm forgetting. I don't know. I'll be around. Awesome. All right. Well, hi, I'm Catherine from Catch Cosplay, and I'm interviewing an attendee from Lexington Toy and Comic Con. So, what's been your favorite part of the convention? Oh my gosh, there's like comic books everywhere, and anime, and celebrities. I've got to meet so many. I'm Santana Cosplay. Who are you? Again. Um, what's going on? <laughs> are you enjoying yourself at the convention? Uh, yeah. Hi, I'm Santana Cosplay. Why are you interrupting my interview again? <laughs> You tell me about this car and what you do here. Uh, it's a replica from uh, Supernatural. It's a 1967 Impala. And we bring it to Comic Cons and people take pictures with it and in it. We charge a little bit of money to cover our expenses. And uh, it's a try to build it exactly like the one on the show. And you built it? I did. With your own hands? Yes. No one else's? Well, we had a couple of friends volunteer here and there. How long did it take? Uh, two and a half years. Wow, and it's amazing. I know I've been in there a while. So do you have like a favorite project or one that's really memorable to you that you... Um, I... Yeah, I mean every, all the different act that, throughout my acting career I've had a lot of fun. Uh, Felicity was one of my favorite shows to be on. Flashpoint was a was one I loved. And the first one I ever, my first job ever as an actress was as a Power Ranger. And that was, that was a good time too. So what issues in particular? Have you kind of dabbed in almost all of them? Or are there like issues you worked on more so than others? Like how's that? Rick and Morty? Uh, yeah, Rick and Morty. Alright, so Rick and Morty I've worked on 16 to present, which we just put out issue 36. So I'm the longest tenured writer on that I've drawn four issues now, I lay out most of the issues. I'm literally the Rick and Morty comic book franchise now. What's a question no one has ever asked you then? <laughs> Hi guys, I'm Lou Lynn. And uh, I did see you in the movie, uh, the new Power Rangers movie. You did fantastic. Thank you. Uh, how was it working on the film? It was pretty incredible. It was my first big um, Hollywood studio film. And um, the thing I love most about it is how close the crew and the cast all work together. Uh, I think we should have a dance off. Yeah? yeah? I think we should. I think you should do your dance moves right now and I'll judge it. I'll give you a rating. So, what is your main in Overwatch? Do you have a main? 
I kind of felt like I didn't have a choice but to be Same good with McCree. Yeah, so like Mc bias, I understand. He's my main, but uh, aside from that, I usually lean Farah or Mercy, just because. I mean, Mercy got really good for a while, but I was I was I was with Mercy before she was cool, and then before she was broken again. But yeah, you know. This is the lawn mower. Is it good? Yeah, that's good. Is it hard for you to pull uh, ideas from those characters? Rake in particular, he's so complicated. I don't know if it's so much difficult for the ideas, but to tell the story, I have to literally recreate two geniuses in 18 pages every month. That's very difficult. Definitely. Yeah, I think the story, the characters themselves are open to so many different types of stories. That's the easy part, but you have to make it as clever as Harmon and Worland would do it. Yeah. That's the hard part. Uh, didn't you also have a Yo Mama battle? We did have a Yo Mama battle and White Chicks. So, so you're good at Yo Mama jokes? Don't even ask me to do Yo Mama joke. <laughs> I have a really good one. I've been oh, dying. Oh, you do it. Okay, but you have to act offended. Okay. okay. Yo Mama so ugly, Hello Kitty said goodbye. <laughs> it's really cheesy. <laughs> what? You're supposed to be offended. You're laughing. Was that in? That was Morty. You're fired. Oh, jeez. You're fired. I'm sorry. You're out. Oh, man. I'm doing something in Brazil um, next month that I think a lot of sci fi fans will love. But I can't. That's a little bit under wraps right now. Uh, I, I understand, but I'll keep my eye out. Cool. That way, when it comes out, I'll be like, hey, hey, everybody, I talked to him. Yeah. Yeah, you're He was very nice. Really? I am? Yeah. yeah, he wanted to hang out with me and everything, and I was like, dude, you're coming on too strong. Very nice. You're, you're, you're doing a show? You're scripting a show? Is that what you're writing it right now. You're writing it, and you need any awkward girls about my high, oh, my yeah, hair? Mama Jo? Yeah, you know, I'm available. I'll give you my info. Okay. Are you looking for an apprentice? Uh, I have a full-time job, so I barely have time to make my own cosplays. So, if my apprentice wants to take care of my dog, then sure. <laughs> I mean, I got nothing else to do. You want? Can I be your apprentice? <laughs> no, I'll take care of my own dog. It's okay. Hey, this is tell me about you. <laughs> I like how you did that. Yeah. Yeah. You like me being creepy? Kind of. Is that weird? Uh, do you have any favorite cosplays that you've done? Um, any that you particularly hate and don't ever want to do again. Uh -huh. That list is much longer than the first one. Um, I had done one, gosh, this was 2008, I think. Uh, it was a character from Soul Calibur, and I did it with my friend. And uh, I was super busy at the time, and so I just kind of pooped out this costume. Nothing fit well. Like, I didn't realize when you made a pattern, you had to fit the pattern to yourself. And so I had all these pieces that I tried to hobble together, and I remember throwing it in a plastic bag afterwards and throwing it in my closet because it was so, so bad. Heroes never die. <laughs> Everyone subscribe to Santana Cosplay. Yeah, listen to him. He's a Power Ranger. Please subscribe to Santana Cosplay. Bye! Or your mama. <laughs> You're making me blush. <laughs> My pleasure. <laughs> I'm just kidding. That's too sexy. I know. Too sexy. Stop. Wait, walk it away. Hide the children. Can I have a hug? Of course, hugs are Oh my fun. gosh. They have to say yes or it's awkward on camera. <laughs> Subscribe to Santana. Santana. Me. Her, right there. Yay. <laughs> Subscribe to Santana. Come. Try to get. Subscribe to Santana Cosplay. Subscribe to Santana Cosplay! Hey guys, seriously, subscribe to Santana Cosplay. I'm just saying. I love you. Yeah, love you too. <laughs> Hi guys, subscribe to Santana Cosplay. Love Bubbles. Oh gee, Bubbles, cause she's hardcore.